Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign reading with myself, Thomas Janak. We are now starting to look at the week of November the 30th to December the 6th. So we're moving into December finally because <clears throat> by all accord November wasn't all that great because we were asked to really look at ourselves, our trauma, try to get through as many things as we can and then obviously there was a lockdown or started, the lockdown had started in early November so a lot of people felt uh, trapped and stuck and alone while they had to go through all of this. Now the 30th is the first day of the week we're looking at and this is a day where we have a full moon um, called the beaver moon. I already explained this in that little image that I um, that, that started this week's reading and so it will bring us um, a better higher energy and some clarity which is what we really all need right so um, let's have a look at the overall energy for the week ahead let's just see what the guides are saying and it's also interesting I wanted to share this with you that um, we're having this full moon um, called the beaver moon uh, named after or named by the Native Americans uh, because that was the time when they put traps out to get some fur for the winter and, uh, and normally I don't really pay all that much attention to what moons are called if that makes sense and then out of nowhere um, I was drawn to another deck a new deck and it's called Moonology and a friend of mine um, sent me a little box with all sorts of moon images which is also the ones that I used uh, to start the video. So apparently the moon somehow the energy of the moon seems to be quite important for the week which is also why I believe the cards uh, came to me. So I have therefore decided and I'm very grateful for my guys because I know they're around and they will give me more but because I was drawn to a new deck. Um, I also have purchased two other decks not so long ago that I hardly ever use and somehow I feel I can now for this week use these, um, these all these new decks um, to see where we're going right um, so I'm not abandoning my animal guides, if that makes sense. As a matter of fact, I have a deck of my animal guides still here, <laughs> just in case they want to come in or, or add. But the energy feels like we should be looking at um, a different kind of messages for this specific week. Something that is probably more about, um, maybe, I don't know, if I phrase that right, but maybe a little easier to understand because remember every time I tell you what animal you have um, I have to then explain what it means. So the feeling that I get is this have to have a, for this week, so I'm not abandoning my animal guides, um, to have a bit of a simpler approach that does not mean I will find it easier to explain because I have no idea what the guides are saying yet. <laughs> so anyway, let's have a look at the overall energy and um, I'm obviously drawn to that brand new deck of mine. So let's, have, let's see what the overall energy for this week is like. Okay, what the guides are saying is that your dreams need a uh, practical plan. So if you're trying to manifest um, you have to think it through and don't just go like okay I want this to happen and then you know go on with stuff you know um, the feeling that I'm getting is if you really want change to happen it is much easier to make it happen when you actually try to think it through and then you when, when you therefore manifest it wiser if that makes sense right so that's what we're getting and at the same time what the guides are saying to us for this week is that the answers we need to make things happen are also coming they're on the way so energetically speaking yes this is the week where we should all pay attention and be a bit more outspoken and upfront with um, what we're trying to do and achieve and at the same time the universe is absolutely there 
to support us. Okay, really, really important. So um, that was just the first messages. See um, where we're going now. When we go into the first star sign of the week, which is Sagittarius. So let's have a look. Okay, for Sagittarians, as we all are coming out of November, the months where we have been, where we were asked to look at the things that are not so easy, look at the traumas that are inside us, also look at our failings. Sagittarians are moving towards a what is called a fiery climax, which means you're, you're almost there. It'll probably will hit you like a, like like a like a bloody bulldozer. If that makes sense, not the easiest week for Sagittarians, but you're that close to figuring it all out. And what the guides are saying to you, the easiest way for Sagittarians this week to make peace with anything and everything that has happened to you in your lifetime, or maybe even different lifetimes, uh, because there's, energetically speaking, there's a past life element here as well that I'm getting. Um, so. What the guides are saying is you ought to be, you ought to meditate and sort of contemplate um, about anything that then has happened to you because it's one thing to let it all go and it's a, a different thing entirely to really learn the lessons that the guides or the universe were trying to teach you, if that makes sense. Okay? So. Um, that's all they've given me, because that's the whole idea. When you meditate, you will meet your own guides. You will probably will have a lot of more um, personal messages. And since this forum here is for um, whatever Sagittarian finds us, if that makes sense. So it's not quite as personal. And the guides are saying as well, meditate, because we're ready for you. Okay, so that was that. And now we're moving into the next star sign, which is Capricorn. I'm drawn to a different deck. Let's just see what we got for Capricorns. Okay. The healing energy and the energy needed to let stuff go is still around you, Capricorns. And, and also, it makes no sense when people are saying, well, you know, uh, once this bloody month is over, it can all get better. Yes will get better but it's not like you're just closing a door and that's about it because a lot of the things that happened to you in the past have sort of made you who you are and a lot of people therefore will be in some sort of a no man's land there is a void and because you have let go now it's time to fill this with new energy and new experiences so what the guides are saying to capricorns this week um, it is really important for you to expand your horizons Look at what it is from this moment forward you would like to do with your life. It sounds a bit drastic, but that's just how, how the guides uh, say it to me. And at the same time, a lot of healing energy is flowing through you. So you are very supported. So don't, don't try to get the answer in one session of meditating, right? Do some soul searching and if there is anything you already feel, this is me and it's time I, I did that, then that's what you ought to be doing. And the guides will help also to let go of, of, of more that still sits inside you. Okay, um, sort of short and sweet for Capricorns going into Aquarius, drawn now to my animal guides. Here we go. For Aquarius, you have the spider and the crocodile. <clears throat> um, all that really means uh, is really for Aquarius to remember that you still need to make sure that your personal space is safe and that nothing and nobody walks all over you. So this is a week for you to realize I am being looked after, I am getting help and yet there's people and situations that keep coming and that, this is what I'm getting, confuse you and you don't quite know which way to go. 
And um, what that does is it it, um, it causes frustration and, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck now. <laughs> and so what the guides are saying to you is um, you decide how much energy you give to all these different layers of situations and people in your life. And you have the crocodile, which means um, if you stand up for yourself, which is what is required this week to speak your truth, and also, if you noticed or feel, I have spoken my truth so many times and they just don't care, then, you know, this is the week to let that all go and trust that your next move away from where you're not appreciated will be supported. Because that's what the guides are doing. They are supporting you. Okay? All right. Short and sweet for uh, Aquarius. Going into uh, Pisces. My star sign, let's have a look what we got for Pisceans. And, oh, and they're giving me more <laughs> than I normally um, <clears throat> get. Normally the guides give me sort of two guides, two cards, and us Pisceans, we got three. Can't pronounce three, but this is what we got. And so right now, for all of us Pisceans, luck is a really weird word, but luck is on our side. So um, it doesn't sound it, it sounds weird when you say like you know I might get lucky this week <laughs> and um, <clears throat> and sort of and win the lottery. That's not what this is about. But sometimes you need that extra bit of luck, that extra little thing that makes things click into place. And the guides are saying is that's what's coming to us Pisceans this very week. The week that starts off with a full moon that will probably affect us for four to five days minimum, right? So, but because it's, a, it's an energy of clarity, we can now go like, yeah, let's do this. So luck is on our side. And the middle, <clears throat> middle message, because we have three messages here, is that um, your hard work is paying off. So we are being rewarded. If that makes sense, it's a bit of a weird word. But we are being rewarded for... Hmm. suffering for a long time, for feeling things aren't just working for a long time, right? And so that's what the guides are saying is, you know, your hard work is now paying off. We're coming out of that difficult time of trying to sort out our life, if that makes sense, right? And then what the guides are saying is to all of us is we need to bring love into the situation. So uh, frustration is a really bad teacher. And because when you are going through stuff that is by default difficult, you get sluggish. You know, everybody does. So what they're saying to us uh, Pisceans is um, bring some love into these things, you know, and, and enjoy your time, um, if that makes sense. I, I don't know why, but I, um, because I'm with my own star sign here, and somehow they want me to show you um, one of my, my new tattoos here. So I, I'm going to do that now. It's still healing. I don't know if you can see it, but this is basically um, a, uh, a lotus flower and the Om vibration. And so what I'm getting is that is that the seed, the lotus flower denotes also the seed of all spirituality. And then you have these little orbs that go up. And Om is that sound that the universe makes, so the highest possible sound. So I think the reason why they asked me to share this with you <clears throat> sort of more <laughs> intensely, while it is still... Uh, um, painful <laughs> is because we need to realize this that we are spiritual beings and in order for us to vibrate higher we have to have the desire to go there right so yeah that makes perfect sense to me now it just took a while for me to get the words out right? so that was was it for uh, Pisceans this week we're looking at the week of November the 30th to the 6th of December 2020 and now we're going into Aries let me just make some space <laughs> see I bought this top chair here for my little boy Fidget the cat and um, every time he's in now because he's indoor and outdoor cat he claims it totally and um, because he's out I was like okay I want to sit in that chair today and so I'm sitting in that chair, that's why I'm sitting in a, in a different corner than, than, than I do most of the time. Um, and just um, 
do the reading. Really enjoy this. <laughs> so I'm glad he shares it with me, even though he doesn't. I had to sort of, you know, um, get him out and then use the opportunity to go, yeah, top chair, mine. <laughs> Don't know why, why this is coming up now. Anyway, let's go into Aries. So let's have a look. And uh, the deck I'm, I'm drawn to. Um, see, normally I don't really talk about decks because the universe gives me what I need to do the readings. Uh, and yet it's because all these, all these decks came to me within the last couple of months, you know, um, and I haven't used them so, uh, so many times. So I'm using the Sacred Traveler deck right now um, for the messages for Aries. And it's really easy. Follow your bliss. Follow what, what gives you joy. Follow what you feel, sounds wrong, really does sound wrong, <laughs> makes you whole because the idea is, you know, you have to feel whole yourself. There's nothing out there that, that is supposed to um, complete you because you are complete, you are enough. But that's just how the guys uh, uh, um, phrase it uh, today for Aries. Follow your bliss and clear the past. Heal the present. So. November was all about healing the present and you cannot really, this is, I think I have to clarify this because yes, the whole month was about us saying, and I'm done with this, I want this out. But life is one constant learning curve. And wouldn't it be easy if you could just um, sort everything within 30 days and then just completely be renewed? Unfortunately, it doesn't quite work that way. What happened in November is for all of us to get the time we need to look at stuff and let go as much as we possibly can. And some pain goes and some trauma goes deeper. And so it's harder to um, sort it, if that makes sense. And so that's what I'm getting for, for, for Aries. Uh, when they say clear the past is, um, to keep on looking at things and ask the guides for help um, to get this out of your system or let this run through your system so you can get it out. Ask for help. There's, it's no weakness asking for help. Okay, <clears throat> that was that for, for Aries because you have, it's, it's just symbolism, but you have rejuvenating rain, which means sometimes, you know, tears are sacred medicine. And when you let it all go, and you're not afraid of tears, and you're not afraid of feeling mm, low and feeling um, sad, um, you will get rejuvenated because it, it leaves you. And then you have new strengths to actually um, do things, right? So just want to say that now going into Taurus, let's have a look. <laughs> Taurus, you don't always have had an easy time in the recent past and it's not quite over because what the guides are saying to Taurians is your commitment is being tested. So whatever you hold on to, whatever you say like I'm, I'm going to do this, um, the guides will show you how much this actually works or not work and also um, remind you of, this is what the guides give me, of uh, clearly expressing yourself when in any of the commitments you make you feel as though you are the only one that commits, if that makes sense. So that's really important and at the same time they're asking you to have faith in your dreams. You know, go for the things you want to do, share them with, <clears throat> with, with your loved ones. And commitment really means, because this is not just about relationship, commitment really means, okay, this is who I am, and I have figured this out now, this is who I am. And even though I might not know 100% how to now progress from here to, to outwardly manifest for people to see who I am and maybe even... Um, uh, be self-employed with it, if that makes sense. So I, I feel this is a lot for spiritual people who now say, like, you know, it's time I use my spirituality maybe 
to guide others. So that's just one scenario, but that's a, a, a scenario the guides clearly give me. So what the guides are saying is have faith. Don't, don't give up. And because there are issues and difficulties right now, just in the energy, <clears throat> the global energy, um, that's why your commitment is being tested. So the advice would be to not waver because you're certainly on the right track. Okay, so that was a Taurus going into Gemini. Let's have a look. Ha. Wish I would be Gemini this week. <laughs> nah, not really everybody is who we all are who we are, but Gemini, the guides are saying to you this week, just breathe. Go through it because you have the hawk which uses the upthrust of the air to just glide, which means you go with the flow. And you have the kickfisher, which is the animal that tells you no matter how frantic your life is, you can still get what you want. Right? So what they're saying is just go with the flow with me this week. Um, you cannot fail. You cannot do wrong this week. Um, and if you are, this is what I'm getting uh, also for Gemini, um, live your integrity. Right? If you are the person that says, like, this is, again, this is all about honesty this week. This is who I am. Um, just go with the flow and, and you will, this is, feels like a week of breakthroughs. And they will all come to you this week. So grab them by the balls, so to speak. Um, and, and say, like, yeah, and I'm, and I'm going with it. Okay. So that was uh, Gemini going into Cancerians. Here we go. Let's see what we got for Cancerians. Okay, um, looking back on November, remember we're starting this week on the last day of November, but looking back on the messages that were there for Cancerians in November, by all accounts, this hasn't been an easy month. And right now you're in the middle of making change and maybe even recommitting to situations and here is a word of, it almost feels like a word of warning because the guides are saying to you, nothing will come of this situation. Whatever you're sort of doing now, um, you will already very likely feel that this isn't quite working. And all the guides are saying is, whatever this is for you, um, this is not worth pursuing. Uh, nothing will come of this situation. But, there's always a but, you have... Um, here um, the, the, the message that conclusions are within reach. So while you're mm, while you're looking at things, while you're reflecting, that was the word I was looking for, while you're reflecting on situations like, okay, well, I can already sense this isn't going anywhere, solutions for you to move forward are also within reach. So um, even if you will probably need to let stuff go as hard as this is because they give me the energy of um, um, heartbreak and heartache and um, it's just no peace it's just not working and all the guides are saying is you again okay, there's a lot here today you're almost there okay so trust that you will get through this whatever this is for you cancerians okay that was that. And now we're going from Cancerians into Leo and then we have Virgo and Libra. And that will be the, the week, <laughs> so to speak. Okay, for Leos, it is important to realize that, that you are some sort of a beacon to others, people look up to you they also ask you a lot for advice so sometimes you you are actually a bit um burdened by it if that makes sense right and all the guides are saying is that's just who you are you are a beacon to others and what they're asking you to do leos is this week to take some time off if possible and really ground yourself and go deep really do soul searching, really explore what 
desires sit inside you that you can now manifest because now is a really good time to manifest things. Remember, we have the energy of a, a really massive uh, full moon that is about clarity. So if you do some meditation now, some soul searching, and sometimes what I get as well is for people who don't quite get the gist of meditating, you know, sometimes just music, um, preferably without lyrics so you're not distracted, will do the trick. They show me a car that goes along a road and all you do is you, you drive it and it's sort of, uh, and, and you just listen to music and um, thoughts will come to you. Please still pay attention because you're obviously on the road. You don't want to risk your life or someone else's. But all the guides are showing me is that there are many ways that could be called meditation. The other thing the guides are showing me is quite funny, to me at least. <laughs> They're showing me people, um, different people in a building, doing dishes. And that's another thing that's just symbolism for saying sometimes the most monotonous things will allow you to get the, the biggest ideas and the biggest push you need right now. So that's everything they got for Leos. Right? And now we are going into Virgo, second last star sign of the week. For Virgos this week, what they're saying to you is you're on the right path, your thoughts are rather clear. And again, I just mentioned this, this is the week where more clarity comes your way. What they're asking Virgos to do this week is for you to stay focused. It's really, really important that you stay focused and stay true to your course because the way the, the guides make me feel this is that the way you're going now is what will bring you the abundance you asked for and it could be spiritual abundance it could be financial stability but you're on the right track but you have to stay focused the feeling that i'm getting is is that you know um uh, what's the what's the the saying too many chefs spoil whatever they say spoil yeah so there's too many people um, um saying stuff if that makes sense and uh, they're asking you not to be swayed by anybody right pay no attention <laughs> and stay true to your course that was that. Going into the last star sign for this week, which is Libra. Here we go. For Libra, last star sign of the week, you have the message to expect powerful change this week. This is a week where well, you know, YouTube already, um, I, I did a video the other week and then um, I found, I, I did the text, what it was about, and then I noticed that YouTube put there infrequent use of swear words. <laughs> so I might as well use them, since I obviously am not capable of not using them, um, according to YouTube. What the guides are saying is expect powerful change. Therefore, um, this week your, your boat will be rocked and eventually the shit hits the fan. There was a swear word. <laughs> right? And they're asking you to balance, in a way, um, the practicalities of your life with your spiritual side. Don't look at yourself um, as being a separate people from your spiritual self. You're not. And what they're saying is if you combine the strengths of your innate ability to look at your life to make things work, and look at your deeper side, which is the spiritual core that you came here with. Um, use your inner knowledge, use your guts, allow your gut feeling to take over um, and trust what is happening to you, right? So that was all um, they have for this week. Um, yeah, and I see you all very soon. Bye-bye.